After leading by as much as 21 points, ito pong Raiders China last two painters have settled for a 14-point lead at the half. 55-41 ang nasa ating kalahan. Mag-margin po, kasama pa rin natin si Eric Reyes with Eric Capadilla joining us in a little while. Eric, paano ginawa ng Rainer Shine itong man, napakalaki nilang kalamang? Well, ang ganda ng, uh, first of all, ang ganda ng ikot ng bola. And at the same time, titingnan natin dito sa telestrator ko ano yung maganda mangyayari. So, pakikita mo, as we pause it right here, okay, you you have Oiloan, Belga, you have another player here, and you have Jairi Ibanez here and the big guy. You see this, nakaspread sila sa labas ng three-point line, and you see all the Barangay Hinebra players in the shaded area. As we roll this tape, Makikita mo that there's just so many options with the offense. When a guy drives to the basket, Bo Belga and the other shooters, like even Oiloan in the corner, are wide open. So it gives a lot of unpredictability on what kind of offense Rain or Shine can give you in any situation. And that is exactly how the Elasso Painters repeatedly hurt Barangay Nebra in the first 24 minutes of action. Nagbukas na po ang third quarter ngayon. Big Bo Belga. Splits on those free throws after being fouled. Labin lima ang kailangan punuin dito ng Barangay Nebra. Kasama ni Belga sa sexy na Almazan, Ibanez, Uiluan, and Lee. Para naman sa Nebra, it is Slaughter, Tenorio, Yo Aguilar, and Barakael. Greg Zilla gets the basket. Na ikauban pang foul. You know, even if Greg has made that basket, good for Barangay Nebra, but something that he has to really be concerned about, Uiloan, Ibanez, always will creep up from behind and steal that basketball. Sa pagkakataon na yun, nahuli si Jaire, inabot niya yung braso neto ni Greg Zilla as we send it over to Miss Erga. Sa hinahabol ng Hinebra, Coach Jeff reminded the team how important every possession is. And whenever they have it, they need to take care of the ball and avoid turnovers. Alam naman daw nila what to do and it's really just a matter of being mentally present so they know where to go, when to help, and when to be aggressive. Para naman kay Coach Yang, they just have to maintain the pace of the game and keep on attacking. Zone of Hinebra slowed them down but they can't let that happen anymore, especially on the second half. Ross is expecting a comeback from the barangay. Maintain lang daw ang magandang depensa. And they can't miss any more free throws and just weather the storm to keep the lead. Balik sa inyo. Right on cue, Erika. Jari Abanez attacking once again. He's got nine points in total. Barangel trying to locate Japet. Tenorio fakes off. Etong si Uylo on, in and out on that three-point try. Slaughter underneath cleans it up. Malaking bagay ang rebounding for Barangay Nebra. That's what gave them that advantage over the Alaska Aces in their last game. This now is the closest Barangay Nebra has come. Sabi ni Pauli, tigilan natin yan. Ito, tres, para bumalik sa 16. He's the leading scorer for the team of Rainer Shine and you really cannot leave him wide open. Anytime on the floor, we've seen big plays happen when Pauli is around. Angas ng tundon. Now with a total of 10 points, he averages 15. Tenorio over to Greg. Ball slapped away by Belga. Slaughter being bothered there. Lee dives for it. Paul Lee locates Oiluan over at the other end. And that's going to be a goaltending violation. Once again, rain or shine catching the defense of Inebra Napping. You know, I'm bilis ng pangyayari. You have guys diving on the floor. There were two rain or shine players diving against Greg Slaughter. And yet, Nakuha ng rain or shine yung ball at nakakuha pa rin ng fast break. Napakabilis talaga nila pag-locate, especially on that outlet pass. Ito yung matitinig mo usually sa pick-up games na bato! <laughs> Yun lang, pag may nakita may mag-breakout, bato, pupukol ka agad yung bola. Two points. Alam mo kahit sabi mo pang inter-barangay lang yun, but it's been very effective because that outlet pass is a basic pass that each and every team can make, but it's a great thing that a team, it can be a weapon for any team. Ganun-ganun lang, balik sa 18 abante rito na Rainer Shine as Uy Luan is caught reaching in contra dito ka LA. So far in this uh, quarter, problema pa rin ng Barangay Hinebra, sila yung fast breaks na nakukuha ng Rain or Shine. Aside from good outside shooting, again, from like guys like Paul Lee. Jay Arreyes coming in para dito kay Japit Aguilar. Early adjustment on the part of Coach Jeff. Well, kailangan talaga. They really need to speed things up on the floor. Nakita natin in the second quarter, Coach Jeff was throwing a big lineup. At, at kahit pa pano, it did work when these second unit big men were there. Back for three. Doesn't drop. Jay Arreyes saves it. Pabalik kay Yo. Fresh shot clock para dito sa mga nakapula. They want to get it over to the post with Greg Slaughter working against Belga. Belga's got three fouls. Slaughter backing him down, gets it over to LA. Tenorio trying to scoot through, locates Greg once again. Two shots para take. 
para dito sa Big Mac. Well, nang hinahing to si Eli Tinore because it's an excellent pass, but still, he was still able to get into the heart of that defense of Rainer Shine. Di man nakakuha ni Slaughter yung pang-apat na foul ni Belga. Napulot naman niya. Unasungkin niya yung ikatlo nito ni Almazan. Slaughter takes care of that first free throw. First ninth point Magu of the Eli, afternoon. Eli was already wide open from three, but he still opted to drive in and draw that defense to him. So they really want to go higher percentage now. Slaughter goes two for two. 63 47. It is still rain or shine. Just three minutes and change having gone by in this third quarter. They know you're going to steal. LA trying to control this attack. Controlled aggression ginagamit dito, no? Ng general ng Ginebra. He read it very well because he didn't want their three numbers and no advantage in that position attack. Slaughter, contra dito kay Almazan, kicks it over. Yo from deep. Overcooks it. Belga for the rebound. Jaire nauna, pero well covered the Yo. Here comes Lee. Oh! That was just like a round robin to me. He just went straight down the lane. Exactly what I was going to say. He, he never can do that. He never is a good defensive team. They, when they were winning, they were limiting teams to 77 points. But Odon, right there, you really have to stand in front of Paul Lee because when he sees that goal, he's just going to go straight. Reyes to Tenorio. Splitting two defenders. They get it to you. Locates Mack from the corner. Paramedal buries the three. Great ball movement there by Barangay. He never finding Barangayel. Still a 15-point advantage, though, para dito sa Rainer Shine. Belga off the secondary, scoops it up and in. That's a big problem if you're up against Paul Belga. He's hitting his shots in the first half. If you extend out, that's what happened. 12 puntos na para dito kay Big Bo Belga. Tenorio gets it over to Barangayel. Lee closes out. They go to J.R. Reyes, and he picks up the fourth personal foul on Almazan. And that's the value of a J.R. Reyes and even Billy Mamorio. They will not hesitate to exchange faces on the floor. So we take another look at that previous sequence. Kusaan, napigilan si Jaire do sa pass break attack. Pero si Poli, nakita, meron pa rin namang butas. Pass break na to at in senior smart pro tomorrow's internet. Tenorio comes out to meet the pass. He never is down by 17. Kagiwa back on the floor. Gives it inside. Jaya Reyes fouled by Almazan, and that'll be number five. A good decision making there by Mark Kagiwa. For a while there, inupo muna si Greg Slaughter because you have Billy Mamaril and Jaya Reyes on the floor. Maganda yung seal ni JR because nanggaling siya to sa weak side after Mark came off the screen. Now it is the veteran combination in the front line of J.R. Reyes and Billy Mamaril. Makakatapat Extra Rice Incorporated for the first time tonight magsasabay si Belga at Kinyahan. And right now, kung hindi mo nga naman makuha sa finesse game itong Rainer Shan, eh, makipagpalitan ka na ng mga as they say. And that's something that J.R. and Billy Mamaril is trying to do. Erika ng balita. Bo Belga handang makipagbakbakan hanggang sa dulo to make things easy for them sa playoffs. Sa kanya nakatoka si Greg Slaughter. And para sa kanya, aside from defending the seventh footer, he needs to be able to make Greg a liability on defense. Kaya naman, whenever possible, sabi niya, he will aggressively attack the basket. Balik sa inyo. Paul Lee already lost his footing, pero somehow, someway, pumasok pa rin yung tira. It's at that upper body strength already, Magu. And we've seen him, he gets bumped. He, he, he gets off balance, but still he maintains a good balance to get a shot off. Mamaril proving to the line for two shots. Penalty na ang Rainer Shine with still 6.57 remaining in this third quarter. He is a palang team foul ng Barangay Never. He never now can just simply pound it. They have to find a way to pound it inside. If they keep on yanking shots outside, good if it falls, but. Now it's their, to their advantage because penalty na nga itong ROS. Mamaril takes care of that first free throw as we take a look at this DeWalt tough shot. Ito yung hanggang ngayon, hinahanapan ng foul ni Paul Lee. Tough shot na hatid sa atin ng DeWalt power tools. Guaranteed tough. Split mula kay Mamaril, those free throw misses might just start haunting Ginebra. They need every point they can get their hands on. And, and especially the clock is not running, that's why malaking bagay yung free throw. Belga misses. He hit his first three-point three, three attempts. 
As he's starting to taper off here in the second half. Kaiwa on the attack. Gets it over to Reyes once again. He's got Uiluan on him, but he loses it off the spin. Double black ay pa, dahil siya pa napituan ng foul. Natapat lang yun bago because you have a little guy plus Bo Belga behind him. So in effect, para nagkaroon na rin ng double team. It's just so easy for Uiloa to pressure up on the big guy dripping the ball. Pinabanggit ni Erika kanina, no? Big Bo Belga, gustong padaliin ang buhay ng Rainer Shine at stake tonight. Pag Rainer Shine po ang nanalo dito, automatic nasa top 2 sila which comes with an automatic semi-final seat. Ibig sabihin, next week na natin sila makikita sa pagbubukas ng best of 7. Tandaan po natin sa Tuesday na po magtatapos ang ating elimination round. And that's the reason why ito na nga, eh, Rainer Shine is really doing their best to really secure a slot in the semis. Pagka po nakabalik pa dito ang Barangay Nebra, ang Rainer Shine will have to go through the quarterfinals. Pagka po natalo dito, Ross, makakatabla nilang Alaska at Lock and Tex and Dahil quotient system lang ang ating gagamitin as J.R. Reyes gets that basket plus a foul, eh magiging number four pa ang Rainer Shine dahil ang aangat sa auto semis ang token takes. Because of that uh, quotient system, ganoon ang mangyayari dito sa ating konferensya.